put your leg in normal riding position. Yep. So your whole leg from the top is going to come away a couple of inches all the way down. So it doesn't mean just stick your leg out like that. No, yeah. The, that's it. Exactly right. Relax and relax. Yeah. And um, but and what lots of people do is they lean, they fall backwards, or they tip forwards, or you know. So you can do one at a time, and then where we'd like to do is to be able to go both of them, and have you moving. When you first do it, often horses will stop. Because there's no contact there, essentially. Which actually shows how much riders are relying on their legs, and in actual fact, the horse should keep walking. Once you've got the hang of it, like Rachel has now, yeah. then I would get her, work, say, walking around the school, and I'd say, right, take your legs away now, and then she's got to hold one, two, three, four, five. Can you do it, Rachel? You can take them both away straight away. One, two, three, four, five. Good girl, relax. So just this time, again, try not to lean back. You have just gone a little bit behind the verticals. Okay, and go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and relax. Good girl. Michaela should be able to do one leg at a time and perhaps both. Got it? Yeah, good, that was really clear there, wasn't it? That's was good. Good girl, make sure it comes from your hip, yeah? But that the knee and the ankle go with it.